Portage is Canada's foremost non-governmental organization offering comprehensive treatment to substance abusers in Atlantic Canada, Quebec, Ontario, and British Columbia. As a vital and progressive force in the drug addiction treatment field in North America, Portage enjoys a well-earned international recognition for the excellence of its services. Portage's Mother and Child Program offers residential treatment for substance-dependent pregnant women and mothers with their young children. The program allows the family unit to stay together during this important learning and growing period. I'm Erica Diamond and I'm honored to be here today with Melissa and Seychelle of Portage who have so graciously invited me into their home to feature all the important work they're doing in the space of addiction. So thank you very much. I'm honored to be here. Welcome. Welcome. Well, Portage is a non-profit organization. It started here in Montreal, uh, Quebec, but now we have 13 centers across the country, so from BC to Atlantic Canada. We have uh, different clientels, including adolescents, um, adults, uh, men that suffer from mental illness, and the program here, which is for mother and children. I'm here today really to spotlight your organization for Mother's Day and in honor of Mother's Day. So can you describe the mother-child program a little bit for me? Mother Child Program is a residential substance abuse treatment center. So what happens is mothers can come into treatment with their children. What's important about that is that in order to seek treatment in the past, mothers have had to leave their children behind. And here they don't have to separate from their kids. So we try and simulate real life as much as possible where during the day the mothers are in therapy, they're doing groups, they're doing meetings, they're meeting with their drug and alcohol counselor. And during the day, the children are upstairs at a specialized daycare where they have the opportunity to really treat the child as a client as well and taking care of any of the needs that a child might have. Any kind of developmental delay or learning issues where it can be uh, addressed at the daycare upstairs. What is the profile of the typical woman who comes to Portage? What does she look like? What state is she in when she arrives at Portage? Generally speaking, a woman who comes to Portage is somebody who's 18 years of older, who could be pregnant or has children. They can come here with up to two children at a time, up to age six. These women are women who have, generally speaking, low level of education, are poverty stricken, who maybe have started out as a career woman, you know, the person sitting beside you at the office and who have, you know, kind of lost everything. We've heard about the mothers of Portage. Tell me a little bit about the children in Portage and what you were doing for these children. So the children of Portage can be for anywhere from newborn children, newborn babies, up to age six. They come here uh, with their mother. Some of them being a bit older have lived in the addiction world with mom. Some of the newborn babies are coming out from detox and they're really here and treated like a client. So their, their needs, their special needs are met. If they have developmental delay, there's a plan put in place with them with their pediatrician, with their special care counselors, with their early childhood educators that are gonna take care of them. Many of the children can catch up from this delay and, uh, and live a healthy functioning, functioning life later on. Do the children live together or does child sleep with mom? The children are socializing together, but individually at bedtime, they're going to bed in the same bedroom as mom. They have their own bed, they have their own crib, but they're sleeping in the same room. How do you measure success and what does success look like to you here at Portage? Many of these kids will start school and will have, will have caught up to the other children. So right there, that's a good success indicator. Number two, we empower the women to be good mothers. A lot of the women come here and they've forgotten or they don't have a good link with their children. So with the therapists upstairs, we help them develop that link with their child. So they no longer see the social services as the bad guy that's coming in between them and their kids, but they can work with them and they can work with us to become be better mothers and have a trustworthy relationship with their children. That's the second indicator. A third indicator is that these women would live, some of them in the streets, and they would be, be part of the Montreal or subculture. What we do is we develop, we, we help them develop links with their community. What about relapse? Do you see women that you release that unfortunately have to return to Portage? Um, addiction is a, is a bad habit. 
Um, it's something that some of these women have been doing for a very long time. So we don't see relapse here as something that's impossible. It does happen. Absolutely. What's important is that when relapse happens, that these women have the tools now with their community, with the social service if, services if need be, or with their families to reach out and call. For someone watching at home, what are the warning signs that mom's drinking or substance abuse has gotten out of hand? How does she know when to make the call? We can start with some warning signs that are as simple as drinking more than you first set out to. So you're going out with some friends, with some of the, your colleagues, and it's one cocktail and we're talking about, you know, you've had five, you've had six, you can't drive yourself home. So really setting out with one idea and ending up with a different level of consumption. We have um, being unable to meet your responsibilities or being really growing impatient facing your responsibilities in this in this context with your children, you know, rushing through bedtime so that you can drink, so that you can use drugs. We're talking about um, physiolo physiological symptoms. We're talking about getting the shakes, getting the sweats, not being able to go a day without drinking. Here are some of the warning signs. There's such a fine line, I would imagine, between being an enabler and, and giving that tough love to our children. How do you understand that fine line as a parent? And can you touch on that a little bit? It's very hard. And as a mother, I can just imagine if you see your child go through this. But uh, there becomes a point where you're, you see your child go and you see that your child is no longer taking care of their house or their own child. The child stays on the couch all day and your daughter starts uh, using as of 9 a.m. in the morning. So when you see these signs, it's important to reach out because it's not tough love. You're helping your child by, by calling out and getting help. How do graduates fare in the real world when they leave? How do they do when they leave Portage? So when somebody completes treatment at Portage, they have the option to go to our community housing. So we have 10 supervised apartments where there's ongoing support in a more intense way, a more structured way where they have access to a counselor, you know, 16 hours a day and where there's activities and, and more ongoing support. For those who don't feel that they need that level of intensity, we do continue ongoing support in our aftercare services where there's continued groups, there's continued peer support, they have access to a counselor for individual sessions. Generally speaking, our women fare very well in the real world. Seychelles, if someone wants to come to Portage, what is the cost involved for them? It's actually free for Quebec residents, wow. so they just have to call the portage and we have to do the screening process to make sure that they're a good fit for the That program. they're eligible. Exactly, and it's free. Wow. Wishing a very happy and healthy Mother's Day to all the mums watching. And if you or a loved one you know are currently struggling with addiction, visit portage.ca. Thank you for watching.